Hello everybody and welcome back to another Movie Nights Movie Review. Today we're going to be talking about Civil War. This is written and directed by Alex Garland and it is about a journey across a dystopian future America following a team of military embedded journalists as they race against time to reach DC before rebel factions descend upon the White House. But is it worth seeing? I would say... Yes, it absolutely is worth seeing. It's not a perfect movie by any stretch of the imagination, but I do think it's very good. So let's dive into it. On a positive note, uh, I, I saw the film two nights ago, and I'm recording the review now because I really had to kind of take the movie in and think about it. Visually, it is a very powerful, heavy-hitting movie. There are images in this movie that I still remember, that I can recall to you exactly how they look. The film is beautiful to look at. It is shot gorgeously. It also kind of throws you right into this world. It doesn't waste time trying to explain to you how the um, the America in this movie got to this point. It just kind of lets you know this is the point that it's at and this is how things are now. It does have some quick allusions to what's going on and how maybe it fell, but it, it's, it doesn't harp itself on that. And something that I think people should be aware of to kind of set expectations is, I know when you market a movie like this, you kind of have to show the war aspects of it, and there's a lot of war aspects in it, especially in the third act. But this film is about war photographers and journalists, and how in this world, they're kind of the only ones who can be able to travel across borders in this divided America, and you're kind of seeing it all happen through their lens and through their perspective. And the journey is that they go on kind of thinking they're untouchable until something happens where they quickly learn that they are not. The movie also has unbelievable suspense. For like the last 45 minutes of the movie, I was holding a pen, because at the press screening they go to, they give you like a pen and an index card. I was holding a pen with both hands, just like squeezing it. Like I, I could not... I was like glued to my seat. It was very intense. I think a lot of that has to do with the editing and pacing of the movie, which both are really well done. And something that surprised me about the movie, but I don't necessarily dislike about it, is that it's not as a political of a movie as you think it is. Yes, obviously in the movie, it talks about, you know, the divide of the country and the, the world of this movie and, you know, the different viewpoints and the different sides. The point of the movie is not a... You know, if we're doing X, Y, and Z, we're going to end up like this. The point of the movie is, no matter how we end up like this, if the country ends up like this, this is what it looks like, and this is the reality that you you will now live in. And it's kind of, a, it's a horror movie in that regard. It's, it's very striking to see things that you're used to seeing in documentaries about um, wars on foreign soil, but when you see that war photography, that imagery with landmarks that you recognize it hits very differently. And I think the film does a good job with that. It's not really concerned with the how it got to that point. It's more concerned with the, if it was at this point, this is what it looks like. This is the horror of that reality. And I'll kind of use that to dive into the negatives a little bit. Um, in a movie that's as heavy as this one, you kind of need quiet character moments to really kind of emotionally get you through. And I think a lot of the quiet moments in this movie do feel a little bit dry. You know, they're not poorly written or poorly acted necessarily, but there just seemed to be something missing from those slower emotional scenes. They just felt a little bit empty and void. The script also makes decisions that uh, are very dumb things for the characters to do, but not just dumb things. They feel very out of character for the characters to do. And it's to get to a certain point that leads to the best sequence in the movie. And if you've seen the trailer, the sequence with Jesse Plemons is the best sequence in the movie, and it kicks off the third act of the film. How they get to that point it was kind of dumb to me. And as a viewer, I just didn't buy how they got to that moment. But I understand as a script, you have to get to that moment. To me, I just think they could have gotten to that moment in a better way. A lot of the decision making from the characters, especially in a serious situation that they're in, just did not seem like the logical ones for that moment or for the written character themselves. It'd be one thing if they're making a decision that defied logic, but it fits, the, you know, that character. But that's not what was going on here. And look, at the end of the day, this is going to be one of those movies that... Some people are going to love, some people are going to hate, some people are going to watch it multiple times, some people are going to watch it once and never watch it again. It's just going to be one of those experiences. And, and I think how, what you walk out of this movie will also be what you bring with you to it. This is a movie that kind of will tell the audience, like, hey, if you bring baggage to this movie, you're going to have baggage when you leave. Like, like it's, it's something that you kind of have to, like you should do with every movie, just kind of wipe your expectations at the door, go in and experience what the movie is. And I know I mentioned it earlier in this review, but the third act of this movie is fucking stellar. 
it's unbelievable um, how they wrap up the story of everything and the way it's shot, edited, and it's the scariest. It's the most horrific part of the movie as well. Oh, and by the way, the last line of this movie is so fucking good. <laughs> I was watching a movie with Nick from The Roundtable, and as soon as the final line was spoken, we both at the same time just went, oh, <laughs> Like, just looking at each other like, damn, that was a good line. And the movie also surprisingly uses comedy pretty well, uh, especially for a movie as, you know, dark and serious as it is. But what I find fascinating about this movie is it uses its comedy to kind of get its point across as to what it's actually trying to say. And I'm not going to give it away. I'm not going to give the the comedic scene in which it does that. But there's a scene that turns comedic where um, characters are talking with soldiers, and that interaction is kind of the crux and the point of the movie. And I thought that was very interesting of how they were able to get that point across. So overall, guys, while it does have a couple stumbles, particularly with its quieter emotional scenes and with some decisions that characters make that I didn't quite buy, even though it led to better things, this movie is very good. This movie is something else, especially visually. It is a visual feast and it's intense. You're going to have a high heart rate when you watch it and it's going to really kind of strike the fear in you of man like i thought i had an idea of what this would look like but it's it most likely looks something like this and to me it's going to be one of the most effective uh, horror movies of the year oh and lastly uh kristen dunce and jesse plemons steal this movie and uh, they're married in real life and i think that's very cool when you guys get the chance to watch civil war what did you think i'd love to see your thoughts in the comments down below thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you on the next one